but you're not allowed to camp in the park. Majestic Uluru. It's inspiring, isn't it? Today's going to be hard not to film or video. This is Uluru from the turn off towards the Olgas. About 9 o'clock in the morning. Have a look out just up ahead for a viewpoint. This is the Dunes platform viewing area of the Olgas. Pretty spectacular, aren't they? The Olgas Australia. Pretty impressive, isn't it? All the roof from a distance. Still looks nice even way back here. Okay, well, it's got warmth in it. The control burning. This one will creep up this way, other one will burn this way. The Olgas, pretty close now. Very, very close. Almost can't fit them in with this camera. Very inspiring. Well, this is the Olgas, and as you can see, they're pretty big, pretty majestic too. This is as far as I'm taking the bike for now. for the valley of the winds now. This is about where it looks the nicest, I reckon, from about this angle. Now, this is as far as it, the bike's going to go on the valley of the winds. And we'll have to head up the rest on foot. I'm here in the valley of the winds at the Olgas, just for the final section of the Olgas part today. Which I'm just going to have to leave the bike here and then head up for the last bit, which is about two kilometres away. That's look pretty nice there, doesn't it? Another brilliant view around every corner. Sometimes it's really good to have the GoPro too. It's 170 wide angle. Because the Nikon, the 24mm and the 70mm can only fit sections in, because I'm presuming this is getting most of it. Yeah, it's most impressive. It's very impressive, isn't it? Yeah, this is where you need the 170 wide angle. Hopefully get all the view in. A lot of fat going in here. Woo -wee. Just echoes. A bit like an amphitheatre. Interesting looking flowers these are. Never seen them before. <laughs> Sunset at the Olders.
Very cute looking. About 25k back from camp still. Little one, you're in a lot of pain. Maybe you'll be alright tomorrow. You threw off the road now. Yeah. I got squashed. I almost squashed. Another perfect view of Uluru. And later tonight, it's only going to get better. Getting closer now. Looks a whole lot different up close. Left the bike because obviously you can't take it up here. And let's go climb Bullaroo. Oh, There's a chain to help you up now. <laughs> Up steeply though. Goes up pretty steep. For a reason. It's reasonably steep this section. As you can tell. Up we go. It's got me breathing. I'm not cycling. No, there's no chain now, but that's because it's not so bad. No, it's so steep now. It's still all inspiring. It's just follow the white dotted lines all the way to the top. This is interesting looking isn't it? It's time for a camera shot I think. Looking towards the Olgas from Uluru. It's interesting all these undulations. But you've got this white line to follow so it's quite easy. Just a little view out one of the bits where the water runs down. Press it. Pan back around. And there's the olders over there. Zoom into it. All there is is the flies. <laughs> they're okay, they're not too bad. around. There's the Centre Park, established in 1956. 865 metres above sea level is Ayers Rock, by this, by the Aborigines, Uluru. Okay, my last bit of filming from the summit, as I am going to slowly head back. It's steep from here, but relatively speaking. And almost down. Last little section. Let's follow this track around all the roo, around the base of it. We've done the summit.
actually fit the picture in really well, this GoPro. And you can't fit things in the picture. Super wide angle, but it's nice and cool around this side. It's actually quite warm for um, winter. Almost done the loop round all the route. Interesting honeycomb formation in there, sort of. Well, interesting pattern, the way the wind and the rain and the elements have taken effect after a large section obviously has fallen off. This is Uluru, as you can see at sunset. Isn't it a beautiful colour? And out a bit. That's Uluru at sunset. The mighty splendid. Thank <laughs> you. 